Okay, now I'm going to talk about advanced workflow inside of Keyflow Pro 2. The people that make Keyflow Pro 2 also make enterprise level server technology. So there's some extremely good code and there's some extremely clever technology behind this simple little interface. So this is just a quick tour of some of that functionality. Smart folders are almost exactly the same as they are in Final Cut Pro, really. You create a smart folder up here, click new, smart folder. I'm going to create a smart folder that looks at all files that were imported in the last day. So I'm going to type in one day there and call this last day and click OK. And that appears down here. And in there are all the clips that were imported within the last day. The cool thing about that is that when tomorrow comes, all of these files will no longer be here because it's a constantly updating search. I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call this uh, last, last month creation. So all the files were, that were created in the last month, one month. I'm going to click there. So there are no files in there. So let's double click that and let's type in two months. And now you'll see, sure enough, these files now appear inside of that folder. So um, I just want to change the name of that uh, last two months. And again, that is a rolling search. So in a month's time, these files aren't going to be here. This type of functionality is fantastic for fast turnaround, news, live events, stuff like that, where you only really need to see the very latest footage. So the second type of folder I can create in Keyflow Pro is a live folder. A live folder is basically a, a window onto your drive, onto your server, uh, wherever you want, really. It's, uh, it's not really importing footage. It's just a scan. So let's have a look. I create a live folder up here, choose new live folder, and then I choose a folder from the server or my storage here and I'm actually going to choose uh, yeah let's have a look at that you'll notice that this folder was or has been created by Final Cut Pro Final Cut users will recognize that but let's have a look what's in there this is a scanning icon so that means that the folder is currently being scanned that's done so if I open this up and have a quick look in there that's all of the footage that's inside of the folder. If we look here, you can see that the footage has been created on various different days. There's a still there, I think. Yeah, you can see that there. But if I click on this top level here, I can see all of my footage. If I right click here and choose show info, I can actually choose to be notified when new items are added. I come out of that now you'll see there's a little red N which means that I'm going to get a notification as soon as something else appears in that folder so if I'm working in a live sporting event that could be essential this could be a graphic it could be um, a bit of archive another use of live folders not necessarily just for video um, it's more for organizing your hard drive I could actually add my own downloads folder from my own hard drive. Now, I don't know about you, but there's all sorts of stuff in my downloads folder. And as it comes in, I've got no idea really where stuff goes. It's all in there. But Keyflow Pro can scan that. And you can see that there's all sorts of different types of files in there. We've also got access to these live folders directly within Final Cut Pro. All I have to do is open up the Final Cut Pro extension here and you'll see I've got a live folder sidebar here and I can see both of those folders. I can see as many as I want and just come in here and select one or more 
of these files and import that into Final Cut Pro. Okay, another example of how you could use a live folder would be, say for example, if I've got a graphics department uploading footage all the time. So let's say I've got my Dropbox um, screenshots, which is where all my screenshots are being saved to. Um, and I'm working in here. If I just click there, yeah, that's all that I've got inside my screenshots, that's there. Um, but let's say I'll do screenshot of Keyflow Pro like so. That will have gone into my screenshots folder and sure enough there it is. These folders also work the other way around so this is a very very cool feature of live folders so I'm going to create another live folder here. I'm going to call that downloads temp well, the folder's already there, but I've added that as a live folder. I'm going to come back to Final Cut Pro, open up the extension again, and hopefully I'll see that folder here. Yeah, so that's there. So now let's say I'm working uh, collaboratively with um, two or more people. Let's say I've got a bit of music in this World Cup. If I just take that and drag it into my downloads folder there, that's automatically copied into there. If I take this music there, that's all also directly copied into there. If I come back to Keyflow Pro, have a quick scan in, my music's there. So that's a very, very quick way of sharing. So let's talk about watch folders now in Keyflow Pro. A watch folder is configured up here in the preferences dialog. You'll see as a pair of binoculars, which denotes the fact that a watcher is a constantly monitored folder. Well, it's actually watched every 5, 10, 20, 30 seconds like this, determined by the watch interval there. But essentially, all I have to do is add a folder from the hard drive or from the server, wherever I am. In this case, I'm going to add this ingest folder and make that a watcher. Now, what that means is that whenever a file is added to that folder, Keyflow Pro will perform an operation on that file. So I've set up five different projects here, as you can see, based on the day of the week. And in this case, I don't want Keyflow Pro to actually copy the file into the library. I want it to put it into this specific folder. So these are specific folders that I've set up on the server, which correspond to specific projects up here in Keyflow Pro. The purpose of which is to keep things nice and tidy. So I'm going to click OK there. And that's set up the watch folder. So now what I need to do is I need to simulate a file going into that folder. So I'm going to take all these guys here and I'm going to drag them onto this ingest folder. And that's just a simple move because they're on the server. And I'm now going to wait a few moments until the watch folder kicks in. There we go, I just pressed refresh and there are all the files. They've not been copied into the library, they're actually still in that folder, but Keyflow Pro, most importantly, has put them in this Monday project. Everyone with the Keyflow Pro client would be able to access this media. It's quite a simple operation, but when there's a lot of material coming in, it's very, very useful to have a robust and clear workflow set out that everybody adheres to so everybody knows where their footage is. That's watch folders. Right, let's talk about workflows. Workflows are created and accessed top left here 
under the workflows button. To create a workflow, I click the plus here. Now, let's say, for example, I want to divide some of my assets into images, video, audio, stuff like that. I'm going to create a workflow for each one of those. In this case, I'm going to call this images. And what I'm going to ask Keyflow Pro to do is if it finds a file type, which is what kind means, which is an image, it's going to copy that file to a chosen folder. And I'm going to add a folder from this live folders selection here called images. OK, so just to summarize, if Keyflow Pro finds an image file, it's going to copy it. So I'm going to create a images workflow there. OK, so I've got four different workflows now. Um, currently, they're not assigned to anything. But what I am going to do is I'm going to assign it to Friday there. In fact, I'm going to assign all of these workflows to Friday. I'm going to click close. Now, I haven't got any media assets in Friday, but as soon as I have, hopefully the workflow will be applied to that. And what I've asked it to do is to copy my files from this project into these various different live folders. Now, the beauty of that is that live folders are going to be accessible from the Final Cut Pro extension on all of my clients, and they'll get notifications the moment that files are added. So let's add or let's import some footage. Um, let's come down here to um, temporary exports here. So I want to organize all of these files in here depending upon file type. I'm going to choose leave files in place because I don't want to copy them and I'm going to click import. OK, so in come those files and the moment they come in, our workflow should start running and Keyflow Pro should start doing its magic. So if I click here on background tasks, you can see that there are copy processes going along. Now I'm just going to check in these different folders. And as you can see, all of these workflows seem to have been running. So let's just come over to Final Cut Pro now and click on my Final Cut Pro extension and then let's click Live Folders. And yeah, it does appear that I've got access to all of my media organized very nicely into all the different folders. So, for example, if I want to add all of these to Final Cut Pro. I just drag them across. Very nice indeed. So you can do many, many things with workflows. You can choose any different type of video. You can choose and sort via name tag, date creation, file extension, file size. And you can copy, set tags, remove tags, transfer the file, and encode the file. You can also apply workflows manually, simply by choosing Run Workflow. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually get entire Final Cut Pro libraries into Keyflow Pro.